good morning on this uh, um, messy Monday. Um, we had a huge typhoon come in, typhoon number 15, um, last night, and I slept for like maybe one or two hours, probably just more like one and a half, but um, thankfully one of my classes um, got canceled for this morning, but it was right after I had finished all my makeup, so um, I'm up now. And I might as well uh, make a video instead of making everybody wait again. So yeah, I just want to make a little short video. I have this um, notebook that I've mentioned before and I, um, where I write uh, some like Japanese grammar for me to remember, um, just little notes. And then in the back, I have a whole bunch of words that I thought are interesting um, or ones that like I always forget and like they're really handy. So I wanted to share them with you. And um, yeah, so let's get started. One of the first words that I wrote, I actually was when I was a uh, apartment hunting and I asked the guy how to say furniture because I was asking if it had, if the apartment in question had furniture or not. But then I asked him to write the kanji for me. So actually he wrote, he wrote this one himself. <laughs> but yeah, that's the very first thing that was in here. And furniture is kagu. I don't know the correct pronunciation. So forgive me for that. Like the intonation, I don't know those. So. Sorry. Spiritual pollution. Okay, got it. It's like, I don't know, like being corrupted, I guess? Or like when, you know, people have to like meditate and um, cleanse themselves after. Okay, got it. Deadline. Shimekiri. Something, I don't remember what that kanji means, but it's like something being cut off. So it's like, done. <laughs> um, also, the word ideal. Liso, so that's a na adjective, lisona. And there's another word for seat, uh, seki. So I wrote that one down too, just in case. <laughs> Personal identification number pin is ansho bango. So we have my messy handwriting, don't mind me. Ansho bango. Also, for something to like be emphasized, like a strong winter, for example, um, ma, this word that means like emphasis. Um, so if you want to say like strong winter, be ma fuyu, right here. Um, let's see. Oh, another handy one um, for people who are above the age of um, your country's legal drinking limit. Um, here in Japan, it's 20. Futsuka yoi. It's like, I don't have the kanji written down, but it's like two days and then like something about like the drunk kanji. <laughs> and um, it basically means hangover. So it's like the second day, like the feeling that you have after drinking. Another handy one, if especially you're interested in working in Japan, would be shukatsu, job hunting. I'm filming on my phone because I don't have any batteries for my camera right now. So um, my phone's like, Storage is always on the brink of being full, so I'll try to finish this quickly. Um, two words I always end up mi mixing up is hage, which is bald, and hige, which is facial hair. So, hige, hage. Oh, oh, another funny word I found out is um, like your luck with women. Um, like it's different from moteru, which is to be like popular with people. This is ona, ona, un. So it's like literally like un for like um like un ten and un do and then ona. So ona un. Oh, this one I really like. It's like by chance or coincidence or accident. Guzen. Guzen, I feel like sorry, I wrote it really messy. But guzen for me I feel like is really helpful. I always end up saying something like that in English anyways, so it's nice to convey in Japanese. Um, another good one to remember is yorokobu, which means to be grateful. So when someone does something nice to me, like it, just to like, you don't always have to just say arigato or like, um, to like really show like your appreciation. You, you can also say, say, um, yorokobu, yorokobimasu. Reality is genjitsu teki. It's genjitsu, but when you add teki, it's like saying realistic. Um, or when you want to say realization, you can say genjitsu ka. Another word that I find kind of helpful in random times is a uh, kawaku, which means to dry. And I actually got to use it um, during this weekend because I went camping and we went playing in a river nearby our cabin. 
Yeah, my jeans got super wet and they took all night to dry. So when they finally were dry, like, I don't know, it's fun to be able to say that. <laughs> All right, so another word that I found really helpful to know is teikiken, which is commuter pass. So that's super helpful, especially when you need to um, renew it. Uh, also, another one that I really like, another word, is um, yote, which means plan. So you could ask someone if they're free by asking, like, yote aru. Um, I hope this is correct, but this word means bar hop, and it's hashigo zake, hashigo zake, bar hop. So I thought that was like a fun one. Speaking of drinking as well, um, there's this word that I learned from someone, but I think it depends on the prefecture because this guy that um, told me this is from Aomori, which is like quite up north. So this word is uwabami. Uwabami is like that snake, that mythical like fat snake. <laughs> um, and apparently it can also mean like a big drinker, like someone who like can drink a lot of um, alcohol. But other people have told that to, especially Tokyo people, they've never heard of that. So it's debatable. Let's see. Oh, if you're like um, a secret otaku or like a nerd and you don't really show that side of yourself very often, that action is like kakure, like hiding your true interests. So it's like when um, this manga where the otaku are office workers <laughs> so that's literally like what it is kakure they're, they're all doing kakure <laughs> oh when something is like excellent or good um like really good bachiri that's fun it's in katakana so no kanji necessary um another helpful one that i like is uriba which is just a place that sells so you could ask like um like fuku uriba so it's like oh, a place that sells clothes also shade or like shadow because sometimes i don't know like when it's hot like you want to like say like oh i want to like stand in like the shade or something um the word is kage and the kanji is written too messy for me to show you um <laughs> let's see another helpful word would be um uketsuke which is for reception or lobby so say you're traveling here and you want to go to or you want to try find like the lobby for your hotel or something you could ask where the uketsuke is oh and another one that i really like i used to call my planner i would just say purana or karenda but the actual word for this kind of thing that you write um all your plans in would be um techo so just techo um, recently I was at a cafe where I was talking to the owner who's really, really nice. I love talking to him. Um, and we were talking about Stranger Things and he said the word kateki and I didn't know what that was. So that's the like, like antagonist or the villain of like a drama or like manga or anything. So um, I thought that was like kind of a neat word, kateki. Um, here's kanji. Another word that I thought was um, interesting is the opposite of yoporai, or yopora or yopora, you know what I mean, <laughs> um, to be drunk basically. So the opposite of that is apparently shirafu, so just shirafu. I don't know the kanji for that one yet, but um, yeah, I have that one written down. So I have a whole bunch of other words, but those are pretty much the, um, the ones that I like the most, I guess. Um, I really enjoy learning all these like random words that are like really handy um, and I need to learn, I need to expand my vocabulary um, so that I can actually like participate in conversations because the amount of Japanese I know is basically, I can talk really well about myself and my interests but it's really hard for me to actually hold that kind of conversation with someone else or like to join a conversation with a group of people who are talking about just anything like it's i need to learn more interactive japanese and not so much descriptive japanese japanese i think i don't know maybe those are the same maybe i'm not making sense but <laughs> hopefully you understand what i'm saying anyways um i will see you next monday maybe um one of my friends is going to be coming over next weekend so we're going to go to some fun places maybe i will make a video about that and uh yeah um have a nice week 
Um, hopefully the weather will start cooling down into that nice fall temperature. It's still really hot right now. So make sure you are still putting on sunscreen and um, drinking lots of water. So anyways, I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.